This is Star Talk. Okay, <laughs> wide citizen of the wide world, Chuck. What's here, our next query? Here we go. Now, this might be another conflation. However, I know where he is coming from, and this is uh, Jason Harvey uh, coming to us from Twitter. And Jason would like to know this. Can we 3D print an animal? And wow. then and then, it, then he goes a little crazy. And then start it up with an electric shock. It's alive! <laughs> it's alive! The pitchforks! The tort, the citizens, the towns, the villagers. Pitchforks. And Why are they out there with pitchforks and They just torches. don't trust the doc. Oh. The doc Frankenstein. So everybody. I just wanted to pet the rabbit. It's very reasonable to me that uh, people will be able to 3D print someday DNA. You'd make a synthetic organism. Holy crap. Whether you'd build a whole woolly mammoth from scratch yeah. from a 3D printer, that might be harder. Yeah, but that's a little mind-blowing what you're saying right there. I'm just saying it because people are talking about it. It's, it's so, And you don't mean like a model of the 3D. I'm uh, making a uh, virus uh, uh, from right. a molecular machine printer, Gizmo. Wow. Holy crap. And then making a, a single cell. Right. And then fusing it and having it grow into a mammoth <sighs> or a chuck. <laughs> believe me, you want the mammoth before you want the chuck. No, no, I, I believe you. <laughs> no, I, you didn't lose me. On that. I don't think I'm alone. This is another one of these things where I would like to talk it over with Chuck's wife. I bring it up every show. Oh, believe me. She, yes. uh, it, she would prefer a mammoth. She would prefer a mammoth over another chuck. Yeah. That's for sure. Yeah. And yeah. probably much kids. easier to care for. Yes. You yes, know? lower maintenance. Lower maintenance. More logical. And probably sheds less than I do. Uh, can't hear you. <laughs> a lot of information. Uh, a little too much, Chuck. This is Star Talk.